What's going on, my Instagram fans? Right now, it is like 6 o'clock in the morning, 6 or 1 in the morning. Uh, you know, it's really early in the morning when you see that your dog is still sleeping. Yeah, early. So, right now, we're actually going to be going fishing. Off the clock today, hopefully we actually get to catch something. I'm on like a major hot streak of catching like 40 week fish, 30 weeks fish yesterday, and then I'll be like 20 porkies. Big week fish run this year. Sadly, there's like a lot less porkies than there were last year as well. I don't think there's a size limit, but I don't think people follow, which is kind of disappointing. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you my gear real quick. My rig up, everything I've got there, because I don't think I showed it very clearly last time. Yeah. And the bait I'll be using. Let's go to the garage. Okay guys, I'm out here in the garage. Yeah, okay. I just wanna show you my rod, gear, bait. That's all. Okay. So here is got my pen grenade pen pen battle to grenade graffiti rod. We've got a barrel swivel with a hook on with a, like one of those attachments. We got a treble swivel. We got that to put our weights on it, and then we got a weak fish hook that could also be used. That could also be used for porgies. And then we've got about 15 pound braid on there with some good hard reeling. Easy fishing. In here. Get the can. Here we've got my bait knife right here. I know it's a bit more than a bait knife. But if I catch like a good eating fish, like let's say a fluke, I'd need to kill it immediately. So I'd use this to like gut it and gill it. Then I've got my two gloves, just in case you catch a sea robin, because sea robins have spikes on the side of their heads. Very difficult to handle. And then I've got a one ounce weight and a two ounce weight. On a non windy day, I'd use a one ounce weight. It's pretty, I think I'm gonna be using, I don't know, maybe the two ounce weight today. I'll bring, I'm bringing both though. I can see what the water looks like. Depends. I might be. I might, I could, on really windy days, I might want to put both on there. Yeah. That's not it. Right here in the freezer. We got two bait off. We have squid strips right here. And on, this, on, the, on the top, it says, attracts fluke, f fluke, flounder, bass, trout. Catfish, snapper, grouper, and all bottom species right there. Not sure about that. Much luck. Then we've got clam. Everyone says it's a great, great bait, fishing bait. So we're gonna try it out today. Yeah, that's all my gear, pretty much. See you guys out. I see you guys out on the dock. Down by the docks, guys. Now what we're gonna do? But we're gonna unzip both the baits and sit out in the sun for a little bit. What we're gonna do? It's on me. I'm gonna really drop because that's a bit wet. But we're gonna have a slip on my phone. I don't want doomed. What we're gonna do, look at all that seaweed. 
It's coming from the shore. Just gonna pick up some water to help the big fish for us. No, don't put the plastic on. Extra squid in there. Let it defrost a little bit. And get the actual box in there. Just like that. Oh, get it on. A little bit wet, it's exactly what it took. Okay, guys. That's what the water looks like. I'm thinking I'm gonna use a two ounce weight just to get it out far through there. That buoy's not gonna rock and porgies like rocks. Guys, you know fans? We just caught a porgy with clam, okay? Now, that is what a porgy looks like. That's a pretty decent one, probably about 10 inches. We've got a little measuring tape right here. Yeah, that's pins. Yeah, so he's about the size of my foot, and I'm wearing size 11s. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to take a quick picture of this real quick. Thank you guys for watching that video. I really hope you guys did appreciate that. I know I sure do, guys, appreciate it for watching it. Hope you guys like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you on the next adventure.